Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This evening, kuna mambo yanatokea in between some kikuyus from the mountain coming clearly attacking William Ruto. And the attack is directly projected to William Ruto as Ndegwa Njiru advocate is saying this. Kikuyus lost 21 of their own after consuming illicit brew in Kirinyaga County. And Ruto doesn't even utter a word. One Kalenjin dies in a road accident while drunk, and their Ruto orders the ministry to construct a house for him before he's buried. That is what Dengwa Jiru is saying. That their Kikuyus lost their lives after consuming illicit brew in Kirinyaga County and that Ruto doesn't even utter any word. The only thing he's doing is that after one Kalenjin dies in a road and that is Kiptun, while drunk, then when Jiru is saying that now Ruto orders the ministry to construct a house for him before he is buried. As if that is not enough, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen also Kabando or Kabando coming with another version. And this version, Kabando is saying, that of, of illicit brews that have killed mostly in Mount Kenya, we justifiably blame government because it has security intelligence records all the peddlers. The crooks are protected, but more tragically, we Kikuyus are our own enemies. We too know these greedy, corrupt, smooth guys around. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, if you're watching this video and you have not liked this video, please do me a favor and show you like this video. When you like this video, you automatically support the work of this channel. Please consider liking this video, you comment and you share. If you're a visitor for the first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting and share. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of the great work that you that you do. May God bless you. Now let us continue with the analysis. Does it mean that some Kenyans coming from mountain, they're feeling like wameachwa, and kwa sababu awana mutu wa their people died, 21 of them. Kwa sababu, ya kukunya pombe ya sumu. Na hii pombe ya sumu, wakati, wa, wa, wa watu walikuwa na kunyo. Ndai wa jiru isi, that because, William Ruto will not utter any word, will not speak on anything about the, the killings, whatever he's doing, is building a house for one of his tribe who died on a road accident while drunk. That is according to them to uh, to them them wajiru. But now Kabando wa Kabando is clear on this that even if their people died after consuming illicit brew, some culprits. Some culprits are being protected and more tragically is that he's saying that they, them, excuse, they are their enemies, their own enemies. So them too, they know this greedy, corrupt, smooth guy around this saga. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Someone came out responding to Nehwenji. He's saying that Kelvin Kiptum was a national hero. Don't involve him in your nonsense. If it is hating Ruto, let's do it with a reason, not passion. Either way, Ruto knows most Kikuyus are easy to manipulate. Isn't Gashawa your supreme leader? Kikuyus are actually the only clown left supporting Rigad uh, Gashawa. But now, this guy is saying that Kelvin Kiptum was a national hero. Does it mean that this Kenyans, when you are the Kufu Kwajilians, Pome Sumo, they are not Kenyans? And yes, Kelvin Kiptum is a national hero. In fact, Globe is well known. But some people question Mona Saindi and Ajengewa. Now, by that time, Neliona Mungina Kuriza Pesaki Yenda Wapi. Consecutive time winning the race. I don't want to talk about the Kelvin Kiltum, but I want to talk about this issue where William Root is being directly attacked by Dem Wajiru as Kabando Wakabando is coming up with his own version. Does it mean, ladies and gentlemen, does it mean that we are having some Kikuyus from the mountain? who are feeling like they don't have hope at all from William Ruto's leadership. Do we have? Yes, we have those who are already on their own. They don't think, even despite of some saying, that regarding a shadow is a man behind the scene fighting for this kingpinship in the mountain. And that is why someone said, that either way, Ruto knows most Kikuyus are easy to manipulate. Is it Gashawa your supreme leader? Then it means that regarding Gashawa, do not protect their own people. They spend more time protecting William Ruto. And because according to this guy, he's saying that Ruto understands very well that to manipulate, the Kikuyus are easy. They are easy to be manipulated. Then, they will continue remaining supporting their supreme, the Gadi Gashawa. But the truth is, does it mean that the Mount Kenya has already endorsed the Gadi Gashawa as their supreme? No. And I want to remind you that a bigger percentage of these individuals do not support the Gadi Gashawa. And that is, why, that is why, as you speak, as you speak, the reality is Things are not well with regard to Shawa in the mountain. Things are not well. As what they do understand is that they don't have the kingpin in the mountain. And that is why you see the Gabi Shawa is like begging for reconciliation with Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. Some are saying to put the mountain together, they must ensure that Uhuru Kenyatta and Rigadi Shawa sits down and they agree. But if this is something that is going to continue, then take it to the bank. Things are not going to be easy for Gary Gashawa. As their own are feeling like they are being betrayed, they are being abandoned. As William Ruto and Atetea Watuyake. Does it mean that these shares that Gary Gashawa is talking about, their people are suffering as William Ruto is catering for their own people? Your own people died, 21, because of illicit brood. They has died on a road on a road accident. And now they're building a house for him. That is the argument of Ndewanji. At the same time, Kabando Kabando is saying that the reality is those culprits are being protected. You can't say anything because they are well known. These are people, or rather, the security understand the peddlers. And this peddler should be arrested and charged. But because there are certain individuals who are protecting them, nothing will happen. Their people have died, they have been buried, 
and things, it may shave you. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.